Welcome. Let's take a look at some examples for similar polygons. So we're given two similar polygons, ABCD, which is a figure that we have on the left, and LM and O, which is a figure that we have on the right. And notice that we know that they're similar because of the notation that we have here. It's a squiggly line. Given that these two figures are similar, there must be a scale factor. Let's find the value of that scale factor. Let's start by defining the direction of this similarity. Let's go from left to right. And because of this direction that we have defined, we can call the right-hand side the image, and we can call the left-hand side the pre-image. Because of the orientation of these polygons, we can start matching sides. We can see that BA is going to be proportional to ML, AD proportional to LO, CD proportional to NO, and BC proportional to MN. But notice that from all the matchings that we just did, this is the only match where we know the value of both line segments. Therefore, we will use these two line segments to define the scale factor. Where MN is 60 and BC is 40, which is equivalent to 1.5. Let's make sense of this value. What we are saying is that if we get any line segment from the figure on the left, and we multiply it times 1.5, we will get the length of the matching side on the figure in the right. So we can develop like a small equation if we understand that relationship. If we get any line segment from the left, and we multiply it by the scale factor, we will get the length of the matching side in the right hand side. Now let's find the value of x, y, and z. x is the length of the line segment of AD, and AD matches with the line segment of LO. And because of this relationship that we have just defined here, we can say that if we get x and we multiply times 1.5, we should get the length of the right hand side, which in this case is 21. Because this is a multiplication, we can divide by 1.5. And now we can find the value of x, which in this case is 14. Now let's find the value of y. Notice that y is the line segment of NO, and that matches with the line segment of CD. And because of this relationship that we have just defined previously, we can say that the left hand side, which is 16, if we multiply it by the scale factor, which is 1.5, we should get the length on the right-hand side, which in this case is y. And with this, we can say that y has a value of 24. Now let's find the value of z. Notice that z is the length on the figure ml, and that matches with the side of ba. And because of the relationship that we have just developed, we can say that the left-hand side, which is 20, if we multiply it by the scale factor, which is 1.5, we should get the length on the right-hand side, which in this case is z. So we can define z as being 30. Hello. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.